It is 4.30 in the morning and we're at the airport because we're getting deported. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're actually going to Rome on EasyJet and it's just very early. Okay, goodbye. today's breakfast. We're in front of a castle right now. Uh, here's a wiki page. Now you know what it is. Okay, that's it. Bye. We're now in front of uh, St. Peter's Square. Here's the wiki page. Okay, now we're gonna walk over there. Goodbye. I figured out where we are. I've seen this place in GeoGuessr. Look at how big these columns are. The Washington Monument is bigger. Here's the wiki page. We're now going to a park. And it's next to... I can't read that, it's too far. It's like a forgotten nether portal. These are the Spanish steps. There's too many people here. This is today's lunch. It's carbonara. We got gelato because it's so hot. And I got salted caramel and a banana. Oh my God, it's melting. We're outside the Pantheon right now. And they're not letting anybody in. For, I don't know, I have to figure that out. I am the only person in Rome using a map trying to navigate everywhere because I don't have any cellular data. Goodbye. Woohoo! We're at Trevi Fountain. We're at the Basilica of Saint Andrea. Yeah, I'll pull up the wiki. It's so pretty, I guess. But it's air conditioned. This is Italian pizza. And I'm getting fat, because all I do is eat here. Goodbye. This is not the Colosseum. This is our first day in Rome, and it's pretty much over. And I don't think I'm going to record anything besides um, this gelato that I'm eating right now. This is mango and mixed berry gelato. Okay. And it's beautiful. It just rains, so like there's clouds and sunny. And this is, uh, I get to get this my trash out of the picture. But yeah, Rome has a lot of people. And I, I don't like people that much, so. We're gonna go somewhere else next, uh, tomorrow. Bye! It is day nine, and then day two in Rome. And we're leaving Rome, because Rome is too crowded. And we're going to Spurlonga. We're on the metro, getting on our train. Bye! But these ones are good. We finally made it to Spelongi. Dry aged fish and melon ceviche, amberjack and tuna. I got swordfish and cauliflower, and my mother got cod and something I don't know.
This is what is this? Some something. Kode. I forgot the first part. Okay, well, this is a watchtower. Uh, here is the wiki. Okay. Look at how clear this water is. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're on a boat. A boat ride. And I might jump in the water. It's really hot. The name of this cave, Madonna Cave. Madonna Cave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's cold. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we just finished the boat ride and yeah, now we're going for Chalada. I got Nutella and cream. And now I have Taijina and my mom got a Caprice. We're leaving Spelonga right now. Look, look at that, look at the amazing view behind me. This is better than Rome. Okay, we're calling it a day, end of day nine. We'll see you tomorrow when we do the Coliseum. Goodbye. Good morning, it is day 10, maybe. And we're currently walking to the Coliseum because we got a tour or like tickets to go in. Oh, shh, yeah, I said bye. We are at the Coliseum and there are a lot of people here. Now we're gonna go inside soon, goodbye. Now we're headed to the Roman Forum because we just finished the Colosseum. Which one's the Roman Forum? I thought the Roman Forum was the city. So I thought all of them. This is all the Roman Forum. This is the Roman Forum. We have gotten a cannoli and it looks amazing because I'm hot and terrible. This is today's lunch. Lasagna. Yeah. My mother already started taking the food. This is our starter. Okay, this is, it smells so good. This is my pasta with truffle. And then my mom got steak and potatoes. But this smells amazing. I'm gonna eat this now and I'm not gonna record it because I'm just gonna enjoy it. Goodbye. Okay, Rome has done it. At this restaurant, it's called this. It's this one. The Taverno, ta Taverno Lucifer, Luc Lucifero. It has uh, good food. Rome is finally impressed me with food. Every other place has been okay. And this place really hit the nail on the head. Okay, that's it, goodbye. We're gonna go get gelato now. This is my last gelato in Rome. I'm gonna miss this though. Okay, so we just finished uh, getting gelato and you guys are just seeing that, so you guys just saw that and stuff. So we're gonna do <clears throat> our fine, I'm sitting on the window seal of our hotel room, of my hotel room. Um, we're gonna do our final wrap ups of Italy. Cause we've only been to two cities and that means I know everything about Italy. So first, Rome is like New York. There's too many people. There's like 20 times more people in Rome than New York. So um, don't go to the cool things and avoid them because people are there. 
Spurlonga is really cool and the Italians or the people we've talked to go, yeah, that's where people from Rome go when they want to go on holiday and they don't want to be in Rome. So Spurlonga was really cool. That restaurant with the the grilled swordfish was really good. <clears throat> the, also the restaurant where we had truffle pasta, that was also really good. For general atmosphere, I think Rome would be better if there weren't people here. The gelato is really good. Yeah, I get just get gelato every day. I had a cannoli in the midst of the sun, like the the heat, the hottest part of the day. Not a good idea. Get gelato, get gelato then, and then get like cannolis at night or something like that. <clears throat> Generally, for the people, everybody that I've met that I kind of can tell is from Rome or Italy has been really nice. And all the people I've been bad experiences with could totally have been tourists. Lastly, uh, this is just something funny. One of the guys who was help we were talking to on the tr like the bus to Sprolongo and we're like, where are we supposed to go? We're lost, right? He was like, yeah. <clears throat> um, he said, the only time the people of Rome that have seen the Trevi Fountain is during COVID. So, you know, it was really crowded there. So, yeah, um, we're going to fly out tomorrow morning and we're going to go back to work. And that's the end of vlog three. Goodbye.